When it comes to breaking the burden of perfectionism, what I've been practicing as of late is studying and discerning my attachment to authority figures defining what's best or right for me. And instead, beginning to take up embodiment practices to support me in cultivating a greater self-love and more self-trust so that I can begin to discern and guide myself in what's good. Knowing that I have the agency and the autonomy to do so. Hello, divine beings. It is your girl, Abiyala Akani, founder of IYA, the non-performative yoga platform. Oh, today is an interesting day because I am leading my very first in-person yoga event for IYA here in Houston since the pandemic. And... I wanted to share that experience with y'all, share my experience with connecting with the yoga community and the wellness community here in Houston, as well as sharing a little bit of how I'm breaking the burden of perfectionism in my life, which is ultimately what caused me to create a non-performative yoga platform in the first place. I just got out of the shower and I'm feeling all the nerves start to build up in my belly around guiding physical bodies without a screen in front of me. I've gotten to the point where I can really utilize that nervous energy and redirect it to cultivate greater excitement. And it's almost like if I don't have the nervous energy, I'm not that excited about it. So I'm happy that it's here. And my goal for today is to really savor this experience and allow myself to be in it moment by moment instead of trying to rush through what I'm experiencing. And a part of me, it's like I can't wait to get this over with. And I always feel like that about something that I'm very nervous, excited about. However, I'm wanting to redirect that and explore more savoring. So I'm excited to take you on this experience with me today through this vlog. I'm also fasting today. So I've only had water and some coffee because I have been experiencing some gut issues. And this has always been an issue for me where I can get pretty backed up. And what I found is that I really need to drop into moving more intuitively when that happens and to drop in more yin practices. So I took this whole week off from training to really just get back on my mat and drop into more yin practices as opposed to being in my, my yang where I'm pushing and I'm weight training and things like that, which sometimes puts my body naturally into its sympathetic nervous system to my fight or flight responses because my muscles get very tight and contracted. Also eliminating the need to take teas and run to my coffee enemas and allow myself particularly my body, to come to a rest and digest state and let my bowels move on their own. I've also been doing Uddiyana Bandha, which is a type of belly lock, a suctioning that can help. And so I've been doing that in addition to my fast for today and just taking a moment to slow down. That's actually one of the main ways that I've been reducing perfectionism, which is challenging for me as a recovering overachiever and over-efforter, is slowing down and removing urgency, re removing this need to multitask my way through my life and create more, more, more to prove, prove, 
improve, which has had my nervous system in a constant fight or flight freeze response. It's challenging me to move into my divine feminine center and not try to prove and not try to focus so much on results. There's this little sweet spot where it's really uncomfortable, but it's also extremely settling. And I'm loving that. I'm loving slowing down. Even today, you know, normally I would try to pack in as much as I, I can for my business, even if I have an event. And today I was like, my only to do is to, is to do this vlog and explore this time and space with y'all and explore this time and space with removing urgency. My cousin is also having her friends over for the weekend. My cousin is actually originally from Bahamas and we live together here in Texas. And so her old childhood friends, three of them and their daughters, are flying in from Nassau, Bahamas as we speak and are all going to be joining me for my yoga practice today. So it's a lot to savor and I want to make sure that I'm slowing down and really experiencing this moment because I know that it has so much bliss so much joy and so much happiness to offer me and I'm seeing the value in that much more than trying to push or force my way to the next thing. <sighs> if you're in Houston and you miss this event, don't worry. There'll definitely be more. I'm trying to decide on the fit, y'all. So let me show you with what I'm thinking about and get y'all's ideas. I was thinking possibly wearing a dress. Something that's really happening right now is I feel Father, Mother, God cultivating like the mother in me. And I want something that makes me feel that mother energy in me that makes me feel swathed. So I was thinking this little tennis skirt, I don't know if it's giving mother energy. I also want to be, feel very beautiful. And normally I'm just like, I'm gonna throw on my tomboy chic look and call it a day. But today I want to feel beautiful. So I also have this chocolate one piece that can be comfortable, but I don't know if it's giving what I'm feeling. I also have this orange top that I really like. That's giving. Do I want to do bright on the bottom? Oh my God, my tummy is turning. So this is what it's giving. These are our options, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Y'all, we have an additional. Ignore these, ignore these pants. I had to run outside really quickly to get the mail. But we have an additional contender. I forgot that Fabletics sent me something for this month. And it's giving... It's giving popsicle chic. It's giving bomber pop. And this is actually perfect because I love this fabric from them. It's super breathable. This is not sponsored, y'all. Come see about me, bitch. Who is she, y'all? Come see about me. One of the things I've noticed with focusing on perfectionism so much is that because I'm so focused on perf perfectionism. I do a lot of future casting where I am putting my best self or the best version of myself in the future. And so I'm urgently moving through life, not being in the present moment, but constantly trying to create something for the future or to better myself for this future version as if there's something wrong with me right now. And as I move away from that, I've 
have this deep desire to be not only in the present moment, but to show up as the best version of myself right now. I don't need to wait to wear that dress or that outfit for some big event or special occasion that hasn't manifested itself in the future. I don't need to be waiting around for that or trying to trick myself into believing that I have to do all these things before I'm worthy enough for that person or that partnership or that opportunity. I can show up as my best version right now every single day and that is good enough. So this is giving, I'm gonna show up as my best version as my queen mother priestess badass. So y'all know who the beep I am, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. She's giving, right? You know, it's just like, what am I feeling right now? I'm feeling a little out of my element and really showing up as the best version of myself. I've done the work to know this is who I am. When we find ourselves rooted to perfectionism and the burden of perfectionism, it's like somewhere along the line, someone told us that we needed to shrink ourselves to make other people comfortable or we needed to be really humble because there was an a light or an expansiveness in us that was making somebody else uncomfortable. And we spend so much of our lives dimming our light in the quest of perfectionism. Like I'm gonna dim my light to make someone else feel more comfortable with me. While also having this belief that because someone inserted that narrative within us that we need to constantly be improving as well like there's a lack there or there is a flaw and to allow myself to really be seen in this way is releasing that myth that I've never been worthy I've always always been worthy and when we start to release that burden of perfectionism or over-efforting or over-trying or over-achieving. It's receiving also that this is more than enough right now. And my anxiety is coming up again because that's very a new place for me to be. That's new territory for me to be. But I feel so ignited in my power by doing it in this moment. And I'm ready for that. We got a lot of things to pack up and bring with us. I got to bring my laptop to check people in. My cousin's going to help me check people in. My older sister's going to help me get content. And I got to bring y'all with me. So I need to bring all of my audio equipment and the camera and all that good-ish. Extra mats. Oh, we got a lot to pack. So I'm going to get that together. And then I'm going to see you at this dope-ass location, Casa Luz. I'll see you there. All right, y'all. So we are officially at Casa Luz. This is the beautiful space. Let me show y'all. So my cousin Christina is checking people in. Y'all y'all on camera, say hello. This is Troy. He's the owner of the facility. So y'all, it's a vibe in here. If you can see, we got all the plants. We could bring it in here. That's the family. That's the Nassau folks. Everyone's here. Waiting for folks to pull up, y'all. So the vibes is given. The traffic to get here was pretty extreme. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. And we're waiting for, Sandra's here, she has her sound bowl section. And she stepped out for a little bit. But look at the sound bowls, it's giving. It's gonna be good vibes tonight, I'm here for it. Whew. The nerves, y'all, the nerves, the nerves. But 
I'm also very excited and very thankful for this moment. Very thankful. <laughs> I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas proud me, I had it die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Caught a shorty off a fan star Just the one I'm ready, it's a great shot Way that I've been living, I've been finishing up I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to grow Rather see my heart Alright, sir, what's speaking loudly to us today? <laughs> what part of your body is speaking the loudest? Oh, uh, my back. Back? Okay. <laughs> Everyone is saying back, okay? You got some back and hips. I got you. Can I your way? No, you're fine. Okay. I love these pants on you. Bro, I just got them. Athletics send them to me, girl. But just set yourself up. You don't want to feel like that? Oh, yeah. Your hands are cold in my chest. Oh. Oh. That one, that one. That? That one. Girl, you always late. You stay being late. <laughs> when it comes to releasing the burden of perfectionism, I've been trying this new thing. And that is giving zero fucks. <laughs> it's been incredibly liberating for me. Because what I've noticed is when it comes to perfectionism, that's really tied to an attachment to authority and constantly leaning on or abdicating my own position of power or my own thoughts or my own understanding for someone else's with this belief that they know better than me about my life, about my body, about my own clarity. And beginning to release that attachment to authorities, having that much power over my vessel has freed up so much space in my mental and physical body to begin to receive the perfection that I'm already embodying in the present moment, literally discerning that being in this moment with my body and not running to the future to make myself better because there's some reserved person that is pristine there or lamenting about the past because of past traumas. Being in the present moment is perfect because it's been very challenging for me to live in my body and feel safe and good enough being in that moment for majority of my and life. And also taking up my own autonomy, my own agency, and an ability to discern what is good for me. And not abdicating my position of power and stewardship over my own body by constantly looking to someone else to tell me what's right. But discerning my own divinity and my ability to do that for myself, my ability to guide myself. And I thank all of my teachers for everything that they've given me. And now I know that I've reached the point where it's time to trust myself 
And that trust is freeing me of all the weight of perfection that I ever put on myself. And I'm here for it. Y'all, we're back at the house. So tired. The event was amazing. Let me close the door because I don't have my mic on so y'all can hear me. The event was amazing. The vibes was high. I'm feeling very thankful. It feels really good to be home, but it also feels really good to just have held that space. I got to meet folks and chat with everyone, and it was just really beautiful. And it's just a good reminder for me to let things happen, to not resist, to not force, to not push, and to remember to embody patience. And the best way I've been doing that is just remembering to breathe. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be me. I'm gonna sign out now. Remember, if you are wanting to join and register for the relaunch of my Divine Feminine Yoga Workshop in the fall, y'all click the link in my bio so that you're alerted once registration opens. And I will be back next week with a new video. Continue to follow your girl on the gram at Yoga by Biala and following my online school at ei.well and continue to be well, y'all.